Hello everyone, Samantha here. I pray all is well with you. This is a collaboration video I'm doing with Judith from Expressions of Faith with Judith. I'm going to leave her information in um, the description section of this video. So um, when you're finished watching this video, you can go over to her video and check her video out as well. So we're actually journaling on day 19 of 100 days of prayer a devotional journal by shanna noel okay and so today's um the 19th devotional is titled feelings forgiveness and freedom feelings forgiveness and freedom and so I'm going to put the date here that I'm doing this, which is, I'm going to put it here. Today is the 7th. Okay. All right. So it reads, hurt feelings are the worst. No matter how they happen, intentionally, intentionally or not, we feel vulnerable in these moments when our hearts are exposed when someone touches a hot button we have to deal with whatever it brings up hmm. we may shift into defensive mode how could he do that to me i'll never trust him again or self-critical mode i'm too sensitive when will i stop being so dramatic or even vengeful mode I'll make sure she knows what she did. She'll reap what she sown. No matter how it hits us, we do have a choice about how to move on. First, giving ourselves the space to feel is so important. Yes. We can allow those hurt feelings to flow without hurting another person. If we take a moment, take a breath, and take them to the Lord we can be mindful of his spirit within us never criticizing or condemning always comforting healing healing and loving us through it all that's our first step toward the freedom of forgiveness regardless of whether an apology has happened or ever will we're always invited to give the gift of forgiveness we we've surely received it ourselves and the more we practice giving it the freer we will be be kind to one another tender-hearted forgiving each other just as god in christ also has forgiven you ephesians 4 32 a new new american standard bible do not say i will repay evil wait for the lord and he will deliver you Proverbs 20, 22, English Standard Version. Be angry, but do not sin, and do not let the sun go down on your anger. Ephesians 4, 26, New Revised Standard Version. Pray down here. There's another scripture. Judge not, and you shall not be judged. Condemn not, and you shall not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven luke 6 37 new king james version so i want to go back to here when she lists the different things we may feel um as far as defensive um self-critical and even avengeful right and then she goes on to say no matter how it hits us we do have a choice about how to move on and that is so true what i like is that she wrote first giving ourselves a space to feel is so important we can allow those hurt feelings to flow without hurting another person this is so true when i tell you that's one of the things i learned about um healing the healing process especially when it comes to this particular area where a lot of people get stuck and are not able to move on is because they don't do the first step they're not honest about their feelings they act some people dismiss their feelings or they go to people that are dismissive 
And when that happens, the person stays pent up with anger and hurt and pain. And if there is no release, it's going to come out some way. Believe me, if there's not a release, an intentional release in a healthy way, <clears throat> it's going to come out. You ever seen somebody explode? Like they said, the straw that broke the camel's back and their response to something is so disproportionate. It's because a lot of times they, it was like sitting on a crock pot or a time ticking bomb and stuff just piling up, piling up, piling up. Next thing you know, the person explodes. I've had to learn that um hold on one second i'm trying to make sure this this is not um i wish i had a, i need to turn this light up a little bit but that's all right i'm gonna leave it like this i don't want it to get so bright that you can't see the words i had to learn that one god is not afraid or offended by my hurt people maybe they pe some people can't handle that and it's not because they're mean it's because some people feel inadequate to handle it or you just don't know what their filter is or you don't know what their perspective on pain is and so i had to learn like god is not afraid of my hurt feelings he's not afraid of my pain and he's not even afraid of any darkness that accompanies it as far as if i'm feeling vengeful or defensive so i can go to him and be 100 percent transparent he sees it anyway he sees when we're feeling that way the thing is that it's a release for us when we can get it out, when we can talk about it and say, oh God, this is how I am feeling. This, what X, Y, Z did or what happened hurt me to the very core of my being because we are to forgive. However, in addition to that, we need comfort and you don't know for how many years I put Vaseline on my teeth and what and beard and grip beard the pain and never talked about the pain you know oh I just gotta forgive them God is good and that's all true but I was omitting the fact that I was in pain and in need of comfort and in need of healing and it was like a wounded soldier walking around with like bleeding bleeding out and trying to help other people and just getting bite after bite and wound after wound until it just took me over the edge so in my experience my walk with the lord i learned that but also in my studies um right now what i'm studying you know in on in the field of psychology and counseling and therapy i've learned like you got you have to talk about that anger you don't want to belabor it you, you but you do have to have a healthy space a safe space where you can take that stuff right take that hurt take that pain we pray in our circles we may not find there isn't someone that everyone can talk to that's the reality we may think there is but we don't know people's situation and some some people don't have anyone in their close circle that they can go to that can handle their pain um but if that's you you can go to god and ask god who you can go to i've had strangers come to me and talk to me people that didn't know me because someone in there they didn't have anyone in their close circle so god <laughs> he allowed us to encounter each other and it was like you know i just feel like i can talk to you i don't know you but i feel like i can trust you and talk with you okay and so um we can pray and ask god you know lord is there someone that i can talk to or lord do i need to go to therapy because i am deeply you know wounded right and god will guide us so right here again first giving ourselves a space to feel is so important we can allow those hurt feelings to flow without hurting another person 
If we take a moment, take a breath, and take them to the Lord, we can be mindful of His Spirit within us. Never criticizing or condemning, always comforting. And the reason why I know for me it's important for me to go to the Lord with it, because if I don't, I'm going to go to someone first, and that's not going to probably be the person that God wants me to talk to. And believe me, I have done that. And let me tell you, several things that I've seen a couple of things happen, you know, when I when I used to do that. One, the person don't understand you. Immediately, they slap, they try to slap a scripture band-aid. They're not, they don't, they, not that they don't care, but they don't know how to process what you're saying. And they're trying to make you feel better instead of letting the Lord make you feel better through them. And sometimes that's just by listening ear. But they can be very quick to give a scripture and slap a verse on it and they're not listening. And that can make you feel bottled up and it can make you feel like your feelings were dismissive um, because they so much want you to jump to this part when this is a part of it. This is happening and the, the comfort and the talking about it is part of the process of this. But some people, they don't know that. Um, so I've had my feelings dismissed. I've been cut off of or. A, a scripture given about the situation and was misappropriated. The other thing that has happened was that the person will cut me off or something and I knew it was God. I'm telling you now, I knew it was God. At the moment, it hurt further, but it was God saying, close your mouth. Close your mouth. I don't want you talking to this person. Also, I have seen people, I want you to come to me with this. I've also seen people get take my side <laughs> so you may say oh that's a good thing no because now it was causing divide, division and strife because now they're looking at that person all sideways and that wasn't my intent I wanted to talk about it but now this person was not mature enough to handle what someone did to me and now they like okay you know because people got your back they love you you know like yo like back in the day it was like yo you step to my sister you step to my brother you step to my friend my cousin whomever you got a beef with them you have a beef with me and that's not the we don't want people you know to be looking at people all crazy um because you know how can I say because now they're angry with the person instead of praying for all the people involved and it's not to say if someone did something wrong and someone is angry with that person for what they did wrong that that's 100% bad but you know it depends on the situation and so yeah so I'm gonna focus on that part because I believe this first thing is so much a part of the process of forgiveness because when we're comforted and we know that God cares about what we what we're going through it's sort of like to me it helps it, I'm gonna speak for myself it makes it easier for me to forgive because I don't feel dismissed and like what I went through doesn't matter like all that matters to God is that I forgave the person and what happened to me is is okay what happened to me as long as I'm showing Jesus that's all that matters and I used to think that and I know it sounds twisted but sometimes how you're taught or what you go through as a child it's like almost like okay I'm here to be a punching bag I'm here for people to do things to me and they just can do it and it's fine and it doesn't matter as long as I forgive them and that is not of God it's a twisted way of thinking it's something to do with one's self-worth to think like somebody could just do something to you and it's okay. No, God cares about what happens to us. He is our comforter. He heals us. And just as much as he wants us to forgive that person, right? So we can be free and God will deal with them. He also wants us to have comfort. And that's why he gave us the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a comforter right so whether that person apologizes or whatever we can just give it to god and let god take us through the healing process comfort us through that process and we have we can forgive that person and for, and know that even though sometimes feelings may linger of anger we can still choose to love and forgive that person in our actions because remember love is a verb forgiveness is a verb 
I'm going to show you forgiveness by not paying you back for what you did to me. Okay? I'm going to show you love. I'm not going to bash your name. I'm not going to drag your name through the mud. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to do you any harm um, because of what you've done to me. I release you. I forgive you. And I'm going to still be kind and courteous to you. Now, I may need to watch my interaction with you if you're toxic and you can do further damage. But I don't have to mistreat you and I do not have to um, um, avenge myself, right? So I'm going to finish the rest of this um, journaling page and you'll see what I'll do um, in the process, okay? Alright, so um, with that being said, I want to say thanks for watching. Um, God bless you and remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye. Forgives a heart full of love, one with compassion, just like yours above, one that overcomes evil with goodness and love, like it never happened, never holding a grudge. One a heart that forgives, that lives and lets live, one that keeps loving over. Over again, one that men can offend because your word is within, one that loves without price, like you, Lord Jesus Christ, one a heart that loves everybody, even my enemies, one to love like you, be like you, just like you. I want a heart that forgives. I want a heart that forgives when the ones that are closest that I've known the longest hurt me the most. I still want to love them just like you love me. Even though I'm hurting I want a heart that forgives When the pain is so deep It's so hard to speak About it to anyone Just like your son I give up my right To hold it against them With hatred and style I want a heart that loves everybody, even my enemies. I want to love like and be like you, just like you did. I want to walk like you, talk like, just like you did. I want to be like you, live like you, just like you Cause a heart that forgives is the heart that will live Totally free from the pain of the past And the heart that lets go is the heart that will know so much freedom Lord, I want to let it go hey, Hallelujah God, I need let it go Lord it's been holding me back and I don't want it I don't want it I don't I don't want it no more I don't know exactly what to do to get rid of it but here I am Lord Jesus here I am oh here I am Lord Jesus oh Lord I you, I need you. I know this is me that you're talking to. This is me. This is me. This is me, Lord. This is me. Lord, I let it go. Every person, every person that's ever hurt me. God, I let it go. Every single heart. God, I let it go. Every single pain.
you can have Lord you can have Lord you can have it Lord you can have it uh, You can have it now You can have it now Cause I don't 